show's gotta go on. <laughs> That's actually a great idea, real time. Let's do it, bro. I have so much money, holy shit. I actually have enough for a Ice Beam TM. Saying it was Thunder and Ice Punch? Yeah, he gets it. Let's get our encounters first, guys. Before we start building a Claire team. <sighs> Let me just pick up my dead Crobat here. Actually, I need to go heal first, and I really need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I need to recover from that shit. Holy fuck. What happens in regards to Pokemon levels? The level cap is still level 50. <sighs> I can't over level beyond 50 though. <sighs> Tangle or Licky Tongue. Torterra is now free. Oh. I feel like I could add one of these two to my team. Anyway, um, let's pick up the dead crowbat real quick so we can fly to Mahogany. Pretty sure I'm on three haircuts with Feebas. So it's like four more days until we can actually use him. Yo, the script's not updating, is it? Uh, you need an experience share, my friend. Ice Cave Pokemon for Claire. Ice Cave does actually has surprisingly little ice Pokemon. Kind of sucks. Why am I not excited? I'm still, I'm still like, I'm, I'm really excited. Believe me, it's just that I'm still kind of <sighs> flashed from how fucking memes that fucking battle was. I'm pretty excited right now. Okay. Pokemon locations. Let's see what we can get here. It's a bittersweet moment. Yeah, exactly. So Route 44, during day has Tangle a Licky Tongue, Butterfree Beedrill, Beautifly Skip Plume, Nuzleaf Cherim, Altaria, and Vespiquen. All of these are pretty shit. And then during the night is Tangle, Licky Tongue, Butterfree Beedrill. So it's just Dust Tox over Beautifly and Venomoth over Skip Plume at night, and then the rest is the same. This is a pretty shit route for grass encounters. And then Surf has Low Tad, which is interesting. A guaranteed one, too. Has a guaranteed low tad. Worth thinking about, I think. Let's look up some... Because a lot of these Pokemon are shit. 
Um, let's look up some changes uh, for the low tad line. Lombre gets Leech Seed, which is really, really good. And Elemental Punches, Teeter Dance. Literally everything on Golbat is ice. Huh. Um, how often are you streaming? That I was stuck in a Nuzlocke around life and no one believed me that Pokemon aren't real? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Holy shit, Arison, you missed the fucking biggest meme battle ever. We're now officially farther than we've ever gotten, but it was bittersweet because we lost two really good Pokemon. Ice Path has Golbat, which we already have, and then we can get Swinup, Snover, Feel, which we already have, Seal, and Smoochum. I think Smoochum is the nuts here. Snover is just okay. I feel like female Snover would be better. And then Swinup is actually fantastic. Um, other levels have other Pokemon. B2F, which I don't think I can access right now. Yeah. Pokemon in real life, I know, right? Oh, Blackthorn City has a guaranteed Dratini, by the way. Since we can either get Mag Magikarp or Dratini by fishing, and we have Magikarp already. And then Route 45. We can get Rhyhorn, which is actually fantastic. Actually, we can get Drum... No, never mind. Rhyhorn is like Swarm and Pastoral Sound and shit like that. Uh, Route 45 is Grumpick, which is terrible, Graveler, which is a dupe, Donphan, which is pretty terrible, Camera, which is a, du a dupe, Torkoal, which is okay, Gligar, which is fantastic, Vibrava, which is fantastic, Skarmory, which is fantastic. So Route 45 is going to be an important encounter. And then Dragon's Den is also guaranteed Dratini, but because we're already going to have one, it's actually just going to be guaranteed nothing. And then Tojo Falls after Claire, we're gonna save an encounter actually, because we can get a guaranteed pseudo legend there before red. I think. I don't think there's anything worth getting in there anyway. Yeah, it's like Goldeen's. Who fucking cares? Actually, I can get Bronzong there. Alright. Anyway. So the ice cave encounter is going to be the most important here. I need to deposit Crobat because it's dead. Who am I going to take with me? Route 45, use Meridian Sand. What do I get for that? Gliscor or Golem? And then I get the guaranteed Gliscor. When is Meridian Sound? What time of day? Or no, what not what time of day, but what, what day of the week? Is it today? Again, Riplocario and Torterra, holy shit. Um, who am I gonna take with me here? I don't even fucking know. Zangus? All of these are way too underleveled, man. Doesn't even really- I should just take Muck with me, because he's kind of high leveled. Wednesday, I think. Today is Tuesday, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. We could go for that. We get the guaranteed Gliscor in that moment. How do you do the Meridian sound shit again? You need like the radio, right? And then you do what? Because we could get guaranteed Gliscor, which would be amazing. Zangoose and Horsey? I don't know, yeah, I'll just take these because they're high level and I don't want to die to a random ass trainer right now. That's happened way too often. Alright, Route 44. Uh, where's the grass here? Where's the grass? Neil deGrasse Tyson, where is he guys? It's not Garant- fuck. It's only a chance? Oh, uh, okay. I should still go for it, I guess. Dude, that 5% for Brava though, I really want to flag on. <laughs> Maniac Zack with the Slow King though. Okay, I can deal with that. Shit. Shit. Uh oh. Fuck. Am I gonna get? Actually, no. Blissey can deal with this easily, right? It's not like he's gonna have like Focus Blast or anything, right? Can you name it Claw if you find it? I'm naming Pokemon after movies this time around. Swagger. Training up there, took out two mods of mine. Uh, I'm gonna respect, respect the confusion. 
Who do I switch to though? I guess I can switch to Slowbro to tank whatever he throws at me right now. Yeah, that seems good. Also, splitting up uh, double nasty plot. This is like really bad. <laughs> oh god. This is like terrifying. Am I just gonna fucking die? I'm just gonna fucking die, I think. Plus four slow king. Miss the swagger. Thunderbolt. Faster, actually, that's good. Can I 2 it KO? Probably not. Sloking is godlike special defense. That's almost, actually. Plus three. <laughs> why do I keep switching? Because why the fuck? I'm not going to stay in. I can take a hit with Blissey here. I'm confident. Nightblader, what's up, man? Long time no see. Swagger. Uh, if I hit myself, Blissey's dead. So, yeah. Plus six slow king. This is fucking terrifying, man. I think he's gonna go for a psychic or for a surf. If he goes for a psychic, I should go to spirit tomb. If he goes for a surf, I should actually go to lantern because of water absorb. Should I just try to go for the thunderbolt? 50 50 here. So risky, man. Yeah, I'll go to Spirit Tomb. If he surfs here, Spirit Tomb is like 100% dead. I'm pretty good at Night Blader. Shit. It's gonna kill. Plus six. Wow, really? Holy shit, dude. That's incredible. That's incredible. What did I do? Turn one? Sucker punch. <laughs> I think he's gonna swagger here. I shouldn't sucker punch, right? I should just shadow snake. I feel like shadow snake can take it out. Like, easy. Sloking's defense is shit. There we go. Easy battle, guys. Easy battle. Easy battle. Easy battle. Easy battle. Easy battle, guys. Stop spamming. No. It's all good. Dark pulse? Oh man, Dark Pulse is pretty fucking good. Fuck it. I like this moveset too much, man. That feel when preferential treatment on fucking mods. Where the fuck is the grass on this route, guys? Everything was calculated, yeah. Calm down, mates. It's all good. Can't fucking move on this bike. My movement is so terrible. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional, guys. Big burbs evolving. Oh, shit, boy. Did Spiritomb live a plus six stab water pulse? You bet he fucking did. You were hovering on that sucker punch like a huge retard? Listen, dude. I know what I'm doing. Like running into trainers. <laughs> The fuck does this route even look like? I don't think I've ever like actually been on this route. Uh easy shadow sneak. Can you just load the fucking image of the route? Jeez, how how often do I have to fucking click? Alright, so I can only get there surfing, right? Alright, easy. Wish! Ah, fuck, dude. I'm gonna over-level. Remember when you were gonna get a mod where- Metacham's wearing experience share right fucking now, dude! Calm the fuck down. Giraffe rig. I should probably switch around, huh? Yeah. Let's go for Blissey. Also, animations. I like having animations on right now. Oh, 
Dude, Blissey is a fucking beast. Blissey, I will say Blissey also did a huge part in that last battle. Taking out Needle Queen and half of Needle King, that was pretty great. Uh, I like Thunderbolt more here. He's not gonna deal shit. You know, that max defense. Max defense, boy? Boy? Are you serious? <laughs> With max defense, I mean 45. Nice. Fuck, dude, Torterra, man. I feel like there's some way where I fucking beat. I mean, if Lucario rolled high on the vacuum wave on Taurus, I would have done like the entire fucking Goldenrod Rocket Gauntlet with zero deaths. That's fucking incredible. Dracor, what's up, my friend? Jesus, dude, can you stop fucking flinching? Holy shit, it's just a fucking giraffe. Calm down, mate. I'm gonna have to go for a soft boil. I should have gone for a soft boil this turn. Yeah, it's gonna deal 220 to 141, and he's gonna flinch again. Uh, that's what, 80 damage? No, like, yeah, it's like 80 damage, so I'm in crit range, so I need to fucking switch. Nice! Fucking meme. Lantern? How does a wall even- Like, how does he even flinch like five times there? It's not fucking possible. Not fucking possible. Mm, let's go for the surf here. Actually, signal beam is better. Ooh, psychic though, it's gonna hurt. 61 to... 92 and he gets of course of course he gets the special defense drop of course he gets it Of course he fucking gets it dude. Why would he not? Why would he not? I'm kind of hoping for Tangrowth in the next grass like it like it would kind of suck I think everything kind of sucks here. Is there one encounter that's like the nuts? Is there one encounter that's the actual nuts Altaria 4% I guess Nuzleaf is pretty terrible, so Skip Bloom. Cherim is terrible. Actually, no, it's Snover. Actually, we can get Snover. That'd actually be great. Snover would actually be pretty great. Um, I'm l I'm lowered on special defense. I need to switch. Let's go to Spare. Uh, go to Blissey, right? Easy. I can take anything, even a Focus Plus, I think. And then just go for the Soft Boiled. Future Sight. That's fine. I totally would have outsped Taurus with Lucario. What? There is no fucking way. There is no fucking way. I I don't I guess I should have checked, huh? But I don't believe it. I don't actually believe that. Altaria's pretty mad, yeah, kinda. That's kinda mad here, right? Future side is gonna hit here. Not for that much though. Future side is a pretty stupid move, man. We can... How much speed was Tauros at? I can... I have it open here. Tauros was at 110... Uh, 125 speed. We can check Lucario's speed in the box later if you want to. We'll check later. Uh, let's go for the Thunderbolt here. Fake tears. That's a little bit scary. I guess I could set up light screen though. Or if Thunderbolt 2 it KOs, that's fine too. Oh, the future side into fake tears play though. Also, what's up, Jokario? How you doing, man? Dracor, thank you for the follow, man. Um, I kind of want to go for a light screen here. Let's just do it. Yeah, especially if you keep spamming fake tears. Maybe I should just switch out. 34 damage, I know. It's crazy, dude. Crazy. Blissey is pretty good, man. Honestly, even behind, like, minus four fake tears, I can still kind of do this. Last resort, though. Uh-oh. Are we fine? We're fine, dude. Doing good. I'm happy, man. We're farther than we've ever gotten, man. So far. Uh, Thunderbolt barely doesn't KO here, I think. Let's 
close. I'll go for it. Future side is fine. Does anyone remember the meme Ambipom sets from Gen 4 Competitive where you just had Fake Out in Last Resort? That was the shit, man. Technician Fake Out into Last Resort. Kill fucking anything. Plus, in Gen 4 was great, then Gen 5 came with EVLA. I know, right? That's okay. <laughs> Mostly just retweet PC. True. I'm pressing my thumbs. <laughs> Gotcha, man. It's awesome. Psychic Phil. Alright, buddy. I have to repel through the water here, right? Do I just want to go for a Ludicolo? Like, all of these encounters are shit. I kind of just want to go for the Ludicolo here. I honestly think that's just the best encounter. Because I already have a Poliwag, so it's going to be a dupe. I kind of just really want to go for the Lotad. I think, like, Subseed Ludicolo is, like, pretty meme -y. Yeah, I think I should go for Ludicolo. I can read the encounters again, um, but honestly, they're all just shit. Like, like, we can get Tangela, which is okay. Lickitung, which I don't think is good. Butterfree, which is terrible. Beedrill, which is terrible. Beautify, which is terrible. Or Venomoth, Dustox, which are both kind of terrible. Nuzleaf, which is pretty terrible. Snover, which is okay. Altaria, which is okay. And Vespiquen, which is terrible. Yeah, let's just go for Ludicolo. To just ignore a call from your mother, yeah. Yeah, let's just go for Ludicolo, man. Check for Raikou? Oh, good idea, actually. It's actually not the worst idea. Okay, we're fine. Does the Legendary... Yeah, we had a strategy where we actually went to get Raikou, but getting Raikou is way too difficult. It's not worth it. But yeah, Legendary Pokemon do count. These low tats are level 20, though. I will say that. <laughs> I will say that. But Subseed Ludicolo sounds like a lot of fucking fun. Kappa Lores. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good one. Not a lot of fun, but it seems very useful. <laughs> we could also go for like a Swords Dance set, I guess. Actually, if this has Swift Swim, we could potentially go for like a Rain Dance team. Or like, like a, if our Politoed gets Drizzle, we could go for a Rain Dance team. That would be pretty memes. Like, I can actually see that working. Wait, can we get Ice Punch on this thing? Dude, we can totally get Ice Punch on this thing. Also, what are we naming this? Tree Amigos? That's a good one. Give me some... Give me some Ludicolo names. Named after movies. Let's go. Go, go, go. Give me, give me suggestions. Ice Punch is physical. I mean... Yeah, it's base special attack is a little bit better, but you can get Swords Dance is the thing. And Swords Dance Swift Swim sounds pretty fucking good. 140 base speed. Well, we'd probably go for special though, right? Like, 
like ice beam energy ball surf or something like that. I actually can't catch Lugia because I'm working with a ban list. Um, everything that was considered Ubers or like banned in the normal like Smogun like meme. There's there actually let me just link you the ban list. There you go. Fuck. What if it's own tempo? Then rip. Wow, we get we get shit with Ludicolo. Give me nicknames, boys. So we don't get energy ball. Where did we get energy ball in this game? Let me check. Received as gift from a girl in Route 39, buyable in Celadon. Okay. Wait, where's Route 39? Have I already been there? Do I already have Energy Ball? They have Indiana Jones? Send headbutt. No stab moves though? I guess we'd at least need Waterfall, right? Hmm. I kind of like the idea of making a rain dance team against Claire, but then we like boosted her Kingdra. I think Swamp Thing is good. Let's just do that. Although there has to be like a film about, like a popular movie about Mexico, right? Or like a Western. We have to name it after a Western movie that like takes place in Mexico. Come on. There has to be something. I think we have to name it after a western movie. To learn waterfall? I think so. I think I'll go for a special set with Ludicolo though. El Inferno? <laughs> Never heard of it. But I like it. Do any of my German memers know Helge Schneider? He has a film, he has a movie called Finger and Poor Mexico. I don't think it's gonna fit, but I like it. Let's just, let's do El, Infer El Infierno. I can't speak Spanish. What about Machete? I get, uh, is there no movie about like Mexico? Popular movies about Mexico. Come on, there has to be something. There's Pan's Labyrinth, which is from Mexico. Nightblader knows who I'm talking about. The Mexican. <laughs> there has to be like a popular one that people recognize. I guess Brad Pitt was in this one. Let's just do the Mexican one, fuck it. The A-Team is set in Mexico. <laughs> Actually, let's just do three amigos. Let's just do three amigos. I like three amigos. El Inferno is a Mexican Western, but I think it needs to be recognizable, you know? It's not gonna fit. I'm gonna do three amigos. I like this. Okay. <sighs> Working towards that rain dance team, boys. All right. Um, I'm gonna skip as many battles here as I can. Just go for my ice cave encounter next. Can I skip the battles here? I think I can. 
Because grass type. It's too late, Scion. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm like a pro. Skipping all the trainers, man. Do I have my energy volume? Isn't Life of Pi set in Mexico? Wait, what? Is it? I don't know. Maybe? Electorizer is there. Dodge like a pro. Ice path, boys. Alright, this is an important one. Fuck, there's better floors than this one, but I don't know which floors I can access here is the thing Like there's floors that have like like 40% pillow swine or something Can I access all all floors here does anyone know? Swine up 30%, Snover 15, Sveal 10, which is out of the questions. We already have one, Seal 10, and Smoochum 5. Am I playing through the whole game? Yeah. You can get to all? Actually... Ooh, we could get Sneasel. Angel P661, thank you for the follow, man. Congrats on that Mudkib. If we can get to B3F, we have a 5% Sneasel, 5% Jinx there. But then... Hmm... No. I kind of just want to go for this floor, because that floor only has only has Glalie, and I think that... I, I want the chance for a... I would rather have the chance for female Snover. And then like 10% Dugong, and the other things just don't change. Although 5% Sneasel is pretty good. Yeah, Sneasel replaces all, yeah. Sneasel replaces all female Snorrents with, um, with Glalie. Hmm. I mean, it's just 5%. My female Snorrent, because it evolves into Frostless, which is, I think, much better. Glalie is part rock in this game. It's just sad that rock ice is a terrible typing. I think I'll just go for the encounter here. I mean, I have a ghost type, though, and I have a dark type, too. So I guess that's not really the argument. All right, Vulgar Bozo, I'll see you later, man. Have fun at work. Snorunt, not Snover. Wait, what? What's Snorunt, then? What's Snover? Oh, shit. I'm a fucking idiot. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I always confuse those two. Yeah, you guys are right. You actually can't get Snorunt here. And I really don't want Snover, actually. So I do go to B3F, right? Because at least, like, I mean, Glalie is better than Snover. And that's basically what I'm replacing. I guess the word the only like bad encounter in B3F is Dugong, honestly, and Glalie is like, eh. Actually, Dugong isn't even terrible. Yeah, let's go to B3F. Although I might encounter something anyway. No, I can't. I'm way too high leveled. You can get Snorunt? Where? Oh! B2F! Uh, but then B2F has like Deli Bird. What if Deli Bird is like fucking buffed as fuck? It's not gonna be. Gets Technician though, and gets U turn, more attack, more defense, more special attack, more special defense, more speed. Gets Payday Pluck, Mist, Quick Attack, Baton Pass, Air Slash, Seed Bomb, Fake Out, Blizzard, Nasty Plot, and Tailwind. Jesus Christ, Rayano, it's still not gonna make it good. I think I'll go for B2F then. I can't get Sneasel there, but I can get a female Snorunt, which is better. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go for B2F. Nice sprites. Wow, that's the most ridiculous sprites I've ever seen. Is this puzzle the same as in Crystal? I don't think it is, because I could do that blindfolded. Back in the day. 
Actually, this looks pretty much like exactly the same. Yeah, it is. Chill door. Let's see if I can still do it. No, I can't. Can I? Is this the way to go? I don't think so, no, I fucked it up. I can't do it anymore. Fuck, I used to be able to do this. It's this, this, this. This? Yeah, there we go. Might risk it for Sneasel. Yeah, kind of. Everything in coming from now is first try, that's correct. I forgot how to do this one. <laughs> this. There we go. That's waterfall. That means a physical water type movement's really good. Yeah, that's the Eve that evolves Eevee into Glaceon. That's the item that evolves Eevee into Glaceon. You a trainer? Oh yeah. Alright, fuck off. <sighs> Can I still do the strength puzzle? This is B1F, right? That I'm currently at. I don't want anything in here. I don't think I can still do this. I forgot how to fucking do this puzzle, man. I don't have a strength Pokemon. Fucking rip Torterra. Does Muck learn it? I guess I can just teach it to... Um, Matacham for now. And then just reteach something via heart skill. I mean, we have access to infinite heart skills. So we'll just teach it to Muck for now. I fucking forgot how to do this puzzle, guys. Doing ice puzzles, can we do Wolfric's gym all over again? No, yeah, sure. <laughs> Fuck, I used to be able to do this fucking thing blind. Hold on, I think I have to push this up, right? No, this puzzle is different. I don't know how to do it. We'll find out, I guess. Is my thief Pokemon still alive? Yes, alive and well. Oops. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go for the Sneasel, honestly. Fuck Deli Bird, and Glalie is okay. It's worth trying out. Shit, I fucked it up. Yeah, I fucked it up. <laughs> God damn it. Everyone's cringing so hard at me doing this puzzle right now. It's okay. Fuck, I used to be able to, but this this puzzle is definitely different. It's definitely different than the one in Crystal. I don't fucking know how to do this anymore, guys. I'm gonna fucking fail miserably. One more. Cringe at everything you do? Aw, you guys. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, can I just go after? I don't think I can, right? Uh, TM Ice Beam is somewhere here, right? Just push the stones in the holes. Okay. I want my Ice Beam TM, man. Do I just push all the stones and all the holes? Alright then. I'm an expert at that. That didn't even really make sense. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for B3F. Like, Sneasel is pretty insane. Probably, I assume. If we can get Ice Punch, actually, because Ice Punch is usually an egg move. Otherwise, it doesn't get very many good physical Ice-type moves. 
I guess I can check. Hold on. Gets Technician, yeah, it gets Ice Punch and Ice Fang. Damn. Okay, Sneasel's actually ridiculous in this game. We get Crunch too. Expert at having holes filled. Exactly. Yeah, Ice Shard Technician. <laughs> okay, wait. I need to think about this. This. Swag Sugar, what's up, man? Welcome back. Can I get this rock in here somehow? I think I can. Somehow? Not like this, though. But if I go all the way around here... There we go. Seems like we've all are pretty ridiculous in any game after physical special split. Yeah, they're pretty good. Alright, I can get this item. Which is a max. I feel like there's an Ice Beam TM here somewhere, guys. Am I being memed on? This is B2F that I'm at right now. If I go down one more, I'm at B3F. Right? Fucking Americans and their weird fucking... ...memes. How the fuck do I get on there? <laughs> I got it. Full heal. We got like 400 of those, literally. This should be B3F. Did we have a, yeah, no, but Sneasel did. <laughs> is this Ice Beam? Please tell me that this is Ice Beam. Moms, please just stop fucking calling me. Wait, is Ice Beam not in here? I thought Ice Beam was in here. Ice Path. Yeah. I need to look for this. Okay, so I'm on B3F right now, so let's let's go for the encounter here. Please just give me a sneasel. Pillow swine would be okay. Fuck. That's like the only bad one. God damn it, dude. If it has hydration though, that'd be interesting for a rain dance team potentially. Do you think it's gonna have hydration? Shit. It's like the only bad encounter. Even Glalie would have been better, man. You're seriously diving right now. Get a fucking grip, dude. Uh, it's such a bad Pokemon, man. Doesn't matter, we'll go fucking all out water ice on this fucking battle. I don't give a fuck, man. We have like a Sveal, we have a Dugong. It's gonna be amazing, dude. I'm just gonna throw a Dusk. Actually, I'm gonna weaken it just a little. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, dude. A little bit. Dugong. <laughs> Suck, dude. <laughs> I like that. You're going to just die at wall rain, yeah, basically. If this has hydration, though, that'd be pretty memes. That'd be pretty memes. Because I could actually try to go for the um, Drizzle Politoed. I'd just check out if it has it, and then if it does. How do you feel about the German names for Pokemon? They're okay. Some of them are better, most of them are worse. I like Kickly. <laughs> What are we naming this thing, guys? We, we were already like out of fucking names for Sveal. I'm just like, accepting everything here. Seal Team 6. <laughs> or Seal Team 7. Uh, we, we named the Sveal Navy Seal, I think, right? Yeah, we named it Navy Seal. I think we- no, we named it uh, Navy- actually, yeah. SEAL Team 6 is still an option. Oceans 13, Ice Age 4. I like Oceans 13. Cause this is like our 13th fucking water type. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oops. We already have an Ice Age. 
Ice Age 4. <laughs> I like Ocean 13, man. Let's do Ocean's 13. Alright. This is hopefully like our last water type. What the fuck? That was the most fucked up sprite I've ever seen in my entire life. Name the shittier water type water world, yeah. How are you fucking kidding me, dude? Alright then. That's just fucking creepy, man. I just want my ice te team BM and go home. <laughs> Avalanche. I thought you were supposed to get ice beam in here. Come on. Drayano, where is that shit? Give me that shit. Probably there. Looks like it. Oh, interesting. Ice Team BM. <laughs> there we fucking go. All right. I really wanted that Sneasel, guys. You get Ice Beam in this game. Oh, oh, oh. The, the Kimono Girl fights are coming up, right? I don't want to fight them. If I talk to her, is that going to trigger the Kimono Girl fights? What's going to happen here? Shrek Village is a Gen 2 remake thing? Yeah, it's like a Desmium Gen 2 remake thing. Yeah, in this game you get Ice Beam here. Who's that girl? That's a kimono girl. I'm just not gonna talk to her right now. Let's just, let's just do that, okay? I want that item though. How do I get that item? Strength puzzle where you get ice beam is there in the original games? Yeah, I think so. No fight here? Okay. I'm gonna believe you. Pee pee up is actually decently useful. If this is actually a fight, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Did they change in the Storm Silver? Yeah, they did. How do I get out of here? Wait, how the fuck do I get out? Push my back. Oh, yeah, sure. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Pushing an old lady's back. Bam. You're stuck forever? <laughs> Maybe. Black Thorn City. Do we have to fight that guy? Ah, fuck. Now I have to fight him, huh? I could have avoided him. Shit. Alright. Could have avoided him. Oh, it's not even a fucking trainer. Alright. Okay. What did I miss? Not much. Not much. I kind of want to say fuck that pastoral sound shit and just go for my encounter on Route 45, man. Just like, fuck it, dude. But before I do anything else, let me go heal. Pick up some items here in the mart. I should just go for my Dratini encounter real quick and then just I can go for the pastoral sound tomorrow if I want to or Meridian, whatever. And then tomorrow is going to be like grinding for Claire because I'm going to raise like entirely new team. No further packages. That's all you fucking had for me, mom. Some fucking berries. Are you fucking serious? Fuck. This girl gives you a heart, uh, dragon skill, I assume. I mean, I already have one, but... At some day time thing...
You got the soft sand in this city. Weak siblings. Dratini is guaranteed encounter here. Yes, because we already have a magic carp, and magic carp and Dratini is the only thing you can fish for here. Tuesdays, Twisted Spoon, Wednesdays. Uh, soft sand is Saturday. All right. Do you want the extreme speed dragon air? Oh, do I though? Which one, which one is that? How do I get that? Wait, what? How do I get the extreme speed dragon here? Do you just get it gifted in the meme and the in the dragon's den? What is this? Move tutor. You get it post gym. And the dragon's den? This girl teaches like yeah. Alright then, yeah then I'm skipping the Dratini. I don't think I need Dragon Air. For this fight anyway, and I'd rather get the extreme speed one, right? Is there any gift Pokemon you can get in this town? Any gift Pokemon at all? Or is this just all I'm ever gonna get? Such a nice town, man. Alright. Nothing I can get in this town, right? You giving me the super rod? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Check NPCs for trades. I'll talk to some NPCs here. There's a trade here. We can check it out. Move to leader. Pokemon. Sync to the radio. Camera on the photographer. Fuck off. What did I miss? Not much. Not much. Effort ribbon. What the fuck am I gonna do with that, man? Is there nothing here? No, like, gifts or trades or none of that shit? Like at all? Is this just it? Dragon Tamer is don't give a fuck. Biggest yeah boy ever. Ah, uh, one day. What do you catch an ice path? A fucking dugong. <laughs> uh the NPC trades are usually changed. What's your favorite Pokemon? I got my top 10 list right there. You can ask. Wait, where's the NPC trade then normally? Is it this girl? Some ultimate techniques. Or is it in the Mart? Maybe it's in the Mart. Nope. No one here trades anything, guys. I don't know. I've been to this house, right? Yeah. That house on the ledge? Dragon or Fruit Dodrio? Where is that? I don't see a house on a ledge. South of the gym. This one? No, this one doesn't have shit. This one just has the super rod in this game, I guess. I guess the thing has changed, huh? Alright. So, no trades, no gift Pokemon, so we get nothing. And then for Route 45, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow so I can do the Meridian sound shit. I'm not really sure how to do it yet, but I guess we'll find out, because that will give us a better chance of getting a Gliscor, which is insane. For later on. Uh, alright then. I guess... Uh, that's all we can do today. I mean, we can look at our Pokemon. Um, I want to figure out one thing before tomorrow. I 
I want to know if this Politoed is going to have Drizzle. I just want to know. Is this run ending with red? Yeah. At least I hope so. We have so many fucking items, man. Because I kind of like the idea of building- Actually, uh, let's check our... Uh, Dugong... Dugong and, um, Lotad's IVs here. Jolly! Raindish, though. Wait, what does Raindish do? Oh, shit! We could do, like, subseed memes, dude. That's, like, even better. And swap you out. And then let's check out the IVs here. Um... So we kind of have to go for a physical... <laughs> So it has 25 HP, 8 attack, 27 defense, 15 special attack, 11 special defense, and 4 speed. This thing is fucking terrible. And then Dugong is 2 HP, 9 attack, 18 defense, 6 special attack, 19 special defense, and 23 speed. Also pretty terrible. Claire leads with Dragonair. <sighs> this Poliwag has like godlike IVs. Except for special attack and special defense. I don't know, man. I think I just gotta ignore nature and still gotta go with a special attacker for Ludicolo, even though it's gonna suck. But what am I gonna do? Six, six special attack on doing. Actually, okay. Gentle nature. Hydration! That's what I meant instead of regenerator. Um, so we can, we can teach this thing rest. Um, okay, so I definitely want to check out here. It was for para, you sub, you swords down and kill sub, you sweep with ice punch and thunder punch apart from king. Do I, do I outspeed everything though is the question I guess. Maybe I do. I, I like that idea though. Well, I'll think about it. Sorry for mouse cursor. Um, let's find out if Poliwag has drizzle. And if he doesn't, because if he does I kind of want to go for a rain dance team. There's something that can kill whatever comes in here. Yeah. What IVs on Zangus? It had like really good IVs and a really good nature. We can use Zangus. I don't remember what we call this thing, Princess. <laughs> oh, Princess and the Frog. That's right. EVs on Zangus? Oh, nothing so far, I think. We have a little bit of attack. And defense. Actually, we have a bunch of defense on Zangus because we had to for grinding for Morty. Caught like a hundred swine ups in Pokemon Go lately. Nice. You can't get Mammal Swine, right? That kind of sucks. I forgot to take the experience trial from Metacham. Hold on. Guess I gotta do this one more time. Just wanna level it up once, give it a King's Rock, and then find out if we have. if we indeed have the Drizzle. Pokemon Go is still alive. Wait, that's how much experience I gained? Jeez, fuck. Alright then. Every time I hear Morty, I always hear Rick saying it. Same. <laughs> I need fucking new episodes right fucking now, man. It's really frustrating. I feel like that swine up did not give a lot of experience. <coughs> 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 
I kind of wanted Swift Swim and Ludicolo. Rain Dish is interesting for subseed things. Um, but I, I would have liked Swift Swim. We could go Choice Scarf, I guess. I don't know. Holy shit, dude. It's just a fucking goal, Batman. Get a fucking grip, slow bro. You just beat fucking Giovanni. Holy shit, dude! Can you please... In before this doesn't even fucking level up, Poliwag. I'm gonna hit myself again. Australian Rick and Morty Seasons free trailer. Yeah, it was great. Great meme. I don't even think every Pokemon can substitute, dude. Every single Pokemon. Except for Magikarp, I guess. I mean, there's a couple who don't get it, but I'm pretty sure Ludicolo gets it. Yeah, that wasn't even a fucking level up. How much do I need? Two more. I could go for like a hyper like meme set with Ludicolo, honestly. I could really do that. Smearing one Shedenja, true. I don't think this thing can hurt slow, bro, guys. Cosmog. Hey, nice meme! Yeah, let's list all the Pokemon that don't fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid for Slowbro's life here. Not in the slightest. Jesus fuck, why am I still coughing? Anyone remember what ability my Sveal had? Get yeah, fucked. Okay, that's one more, one more Pokemon here for Poliwag. And we can finally find out. Cause I think like with Ludicolo and Dugong and then like Lantern, Slowbro. Ludicolo, Dugong, Lantern, Slowbro. Um Fuck, I wish I had a water ground type. Or like Volt Absorb on Lantern, I guess. We can build like a good water, a good like Rain Dance team then. I mean, we don't have to go all water types, right? That's like fine. But like, just get like Ludicolo and Dugong in there, I guess. Thick Fat? Oh yeah, it was Thick Fat actually. What about Kakuna? Shut the fuck up. You know when there's like like one droplet of water stuck in your throat? It's fucking insane. This should be it, right? This should be an evolving polywag right here. <clears throat> also, script hasn't been updating in a while. There we go. We have the King's Rock with us. I mean, I'm never going to use that as a held item anyway, and if, even if I would, I could just buy one from the game corner. Let's check for Drizzle here. I feel like I ever need to get Polywrath again because we have beaten Chuck and Price, and that's where Polywrath really shines. King's Rock. Use. Let's go. Give me Drizzle! Give me Drizzle. Give me Drizzle. Break the rules and catch a Sneasel. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Give me that drizzle manizzle. Come on. Let's go. Yes! Okay, interesting. Interesting. So I think I might go for like Rain Man's memes. <clears throat> No drizzle for you, get fucked. <sighs> I 
All right, guys. So tomorrow is gonna be like, we're gonna get our Route 44 encounter or Route 45 encounter with like the Meridian sound shit. Drizzle for Rizzle, that's right. Um, and then we're gonna build a Claire team and train it up and then we'll fight Claire. It's gonna be incredible. I'm really excited. I really am excited. Um, yo, is our level cap actually 50 or is it 55? It's totally 50, okay. Um, I want you all, while I look for a, while I look for a raid target, I want you all to go follow me on Twitter. There we fucking go, dude. Jesus, fuck. Listen. Guys. Holy shit, my computer is not acting what he should be doing right now. All right, hold on. Guys, today, we're beating Claire. <laughs> we're fighting Claire and we're beating her. It's gonna be fucking amazing. The sloth sitting up top, blue septile in chat, silver briar in chat, real time in chat. What's up, guys? All right, I have a plan. I have a plan. So I was doing some theory crafting. Basically, we have a Politoed with Drizzle, and we have a shit ton of water Pokemon. And our horsey has a sniper. Um, so that means the dreams. <laughs> I was so sure that our horsey had swift swim, man. Fuck. Can Kingdra have sniper? Fuck. Can you show all the deaths? Yeah. These are all the deaths. Yesterday, Torterra and Lucario died to Giovanni. It was really sad. Basically, I was actually planning to use um, Kingdrum with Swift Swim as a sweeper, but apparently that's not going to work out. Um, that's really disappointing. Before I do anything else, let me fly to Goldenrod and give a haircut to Feebas. Should be haircut number four. Rip Torterra indeed. Um, so this is really sad. I thought, fuck, I was so sure that Horsey had fucking meme, meme time. We have another encounter coming up, by the way. the punishment active now? Yeah. We have an active punishment if we lose at any point. So my whole plan relied on just sweeping with choice specs Swift Swim Kingdom. So, the challenge was the game. Listen, I haven't done anything about that yet, okay? Hold on. Yes. I'd like to spruce it up. That's ha haircut number four for Feebas. I think he needs eight to evolve. Um. So we have another encounter coming up, and I would like to do it with Meridian Sound. 
And I'm not really 100% sure how that works. So let's figure that out. Dude, I was so sure that Horsey had Swift Swim, and we, we, we could have just made like a Choice Specs Kingdra Swift Swim Sweep, but that would have been the easiest Claire of all time. But it looks like we're actually gonna have to like do stuff for Claire. I have a fish called Wanda, that's right. Thankfully, it remains uneaten. <laughs> um, why am I? I'm not currently using Dugong. I was considering using Dugong for the Rain Dance team because it has hydration, which is really cool with rest. I'll think about it more. Um. So my horsey plan is not going to work out, so I got to figure out something completely different. Um... Okay. Let me see if this works. So I got to go to the poke gear. Got to go to the radio. Silver drama. Ooh. Mary and Oak. Silver drama. Snap. Ben. Um, I don't think, guys, I don't think I can do this pre-canto. Onto the Pokemon March station on a Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, fuck this. Can I not turn this off? Alright. Let's just get our encounter then. Could get a ground type here, which is good, but we can also get a terrible ground type. Nice Poliwag. Poliwag isn't even on the fucking team. The script's not updating though. Really makes you think, doesn't it? There we go, now we have two polytoads. Can I use the radio to get more stuff before Kanto? Alright. Just get our encounter then. Gligar's the nuts here. That's the worst possible Pokemon we could have gotten. That's like the actual worst Pokemon we could have fucking gotten on this round. That's so disappointing, man. Oh, fucking kill me, dude. Raikou? No, I'm not going for Raikou. It's not- it's like never worth it. It's not a Gligar. Yay. So what are we naming this thing, guys? Name this thing after a movie for me. Let's go. This thing is going to be the MWP. The most worthless player? Yeah, I think so too, man. <laughs> we could call it Babe. Like... Wait, isn't that a thing? Like a pig named Big or Babe or something like that? Just Babe? Let's just call it Babe then. Yeah, Babe is the only name I agree.
Okay. Let's build a team for Claire, guys. Um, Kingdra with Swift Swim would have made this so easy. So easy. Um... I guess I have another Swift Swim Pokemon in Luminion, huh? <laughs> but Luminion's just shit. It's just actual shit. It's like actually shit. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm so tired. I might pop an energy drink later. Um... So, let's look at Claire's team. She has a Dragonair with T-Wave, Fire Blast, Surf, and Dragon Pulse. She has a Gyarados with Dragon Dance, Outrage, Waterfall, and Earthquake. She has a Salamence with Focus Blast, White Herb, Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, Dragon Pulse. Altaria with Fire Blast, Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse, Roost, Kingdra, and another Dragonair. I mean, that's not terrible. That's not, like, unbeatable. Salamence is kind of worrisome. You're so tired, you're making me tired. I'm sorry, Silver. Um... I mean, we could just do, like, the meme thing. Hold on. Let me just put a memer in here. And to just fill this box up with all the potential Pokemon. Because we're not using LMIs, right? Blissey would be so good. Against some of these Pokemon, sure. With that Swift Swim Kingdra... I kind of still want to build a Rain Dance team, to be honest. Um... So, like... You have Thick Fat, right? Like, maybe this is, like, my Rain Dance core. Because, like, these two have, like, ridiculous, like, regeneration. Like, he can have, like... Because he has Rain Dish, right? So he's gonna recover HP. Then we have Leech Seed, we give him Leftovers, and we give him Substitute. And he's just fucking ballin', man. He's just ballin'. And then he has Hydration plus Rest. Means also infinite recovery. And then both can just Ice Beam as much as they like and take out most of her team. And then I was thinking, uh, for Gyarados, in case it sets up like a Dragon Dance and tries to sweep us, JFelt's 4502, thank you for the follow, man. Do I have anything with Water Absorb? Yeah, I have Lantern. Um... I was thinking like Voltorb for Gyarados or Electrode for Gyarados and just teach him Thunder and just take it out. Because Thunder is always going to hit, right? And then Lantern can also maybe Thunder or something. Um, I don't know about Lantern, but maybe like this sort of like Rain Dance teamish core would be kind of cool. Then maybe we just add Blissey for additional defenses. Um, we can teach Politoed Hypnosis, right? And then what, may, may, like Medicham or Slowbro or... Slowbro seems like the obvious choice because he's a water type, but we don't actually need more water types for this Rain Dance team. I need like offensive power, man. I need, I need something that's fast and that hits hard. <sighs> I don't know, man. Choice Scarf Medicham with Ice Punch is like worth considering. I guess. This sort of team then, maybe? Blissey is just a good pivot, I guess. I guess, like... Okay, we can think about it this way. Who has good speed IVs? I mean, the base speed is like the first thing we should be looking for, right? But Zangus has really good speed IVs and learns Ice Punch. Who of you guys has better speed? Wait. Medicham has a plus speed nature, too. Um... I feel like Lantern is better. What would I use Lantern for, though? 
How do I take out Kingdra? I guess Kingdra just dies to like Leech Seed Ludicolo, right? Like what's he gonna do? Dragon Pulse, Hydro Pump, Swagger, and Blizzard. We can take that. What gym is next? The 8th gym, Claire. The dragon type gym. Something along these lines, I think. I think these four are a really good core to just deal with them. And then just like max out these guys' defenses, maybe? Or maybe give him HP and special attack and just give Dugong light. Hold on. What sort of set do Dugong's run in Gen 4 competitive? Four times super weak to ice? No, it's water dragon. So it's not. It's only weak to dragon. I guess, like, Kingdra just dies to Leech Seed, man. What's he gonna do? Slower than Kingdra. Yo, internet? Why not 11? <laughs> I don't know, man. Apparently max out HP on Dugong and then you go like special attack. Maybe I should do the same for Ludicolo. Swagger is gonna end the run. What? So he's gonna swagger into my substitute? I guess the only problem I have is that Kingdra is just faster than me, you know? It's just faster than Ludicolo. So then maybe Dugong can take him out? Not really. Dugong has 70 base speed, which is also lower than Kingra's. I mean, Palto is just there to set up Drizzle for these guys, right? And then Thunder for him. Um, hmm. We can go through this Pokemon by Pokemon, I guess, and just theory craft. So, does Dragonair just like die? How fast is Dragonair? Seventy speed him. So if we get Dugong a little bit of speed him. All right. If we give Dugong a little bit of speed, he should be fine. Um, like if if the thing is like if Dragonair ever Thunder Waves, um, Dugong, I'm like fine because I can just rest. How much would a Specs Thunder do to Kingdra? From who? You mean from Electrode? I don't know. We can find out, I guess. This thing is fucking brave, which is the worst nature ever for a Voltorb. And zero special attack IV. <laughs> This thing is so awful, man. Jesus. Okay, hold on. This is like the most awful Voltorb of all time. Okay, let's check this out, actually. Let's go into the calculator. Um, Kingra level 50. And then Electrode level 50. It knows that it's disappointed in itself. Yeah. Zero IV, 252 special attack, level 50. And you're gonna be wearing choice specs. And then you thunder. How much damage do you do? That's not enough. That's enough to two at KO Kingdom. Mwah. What if we had like a decent IV? That wouldn't be enough, right? Yeah, no. Doesn't really matter that much. Mm. No, I think Kingdra should just die to Ludicolo. I think Kingdra can die to Ludicolo, man. Um, that seems reasonable to me. 
If only it was faster. Some can I ever outspeed this Kingra with Ludicolo? I guess we can ask that question. Ludicolo level 50. What's your IVs like, friend? Uh, are you s fucking serious? Okay. Um, four speed IV. Are you fucking kidding me? But it's jolly. It's jolly. Oh, uh, hold on. Sadly, it's jolly, which is so bad. Jolly. Four speed. Um. 252. Wait, level 50. And then we invest 252 speed. He does outspeed Kingdra. He really does outspeed Kingdra. Does he do it with 200 EVs? Yeah, easily. That's really good. The jolly nature actually kind of saves me here. What about 150? That's barely enough. So we need like a hundred, I'm gonna go 170 speed IV, uh, EVs on this Ludicolo. And then I'll put the rest in HP and a little bit in special attack. Um, How much does this Kingdra do to me with its most powerful move? Say... Dragon Pulse. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. Holy shit, we're so good. Um... Okay, so Ludicolo is my answer to Kingdra. Um, so that's good. And then Electrode is my answer to Gyarados, I guess. Although I can't switch him into Gyarados, which really sucks. Um, so we're gonna have to... I guess we just predict the Dragon Dance on Gyarados, right? Maybe? Um, or we have to, like... Sacrifice something. Uh, Dugong deals with the first Dragonair and the second one. I think. If we just give it a little bit of speed and, um... A little bit of speed. How much... Speed IV? 23. Um... Level 70. So... How many speed IVs do I need to outspeed, like, base... I guess I'll say 80 base speed. I think I'll invest into that for speed of for Dugong. Um, actually, I just need to know how much I need to outspeed, like, things that have the same speed, right? Um... Let's see. That's 90. How much do I need to reach 90? Okay. What the fuck, man? This is the worst fucking software ever. I fucking hate this calculator. Here we go. 100 speed. So to outspeed base 80 base speed Pokemon with Dugong, we would need to invest... 120 speed EVs. Alright. So what was it for Ludicolo? What did I say? 160, right? Was it 160? Wait. I just want to outspeed Kingdra, man. Has 85 base speed, actually. I guess I'll go into outspeeding Kingdra then. 85 base speed seems like a good value to go for. Hundred sixty. I need to write this down. Now I'll go 120. EVs. Dugong needs 120, and Ludicolo needs 
Um, what was it? Four speed IV. You want to outspeed Kingdra? I did something horribly wrong. Ludicolo force. Oh yeah, we're jolly natured. That's why. Level 50, and we want to reach 105 speed. Was it 160? Yeah. So Ludicolo wants 160 speed EVs. Okay. Good. And then max HP and the rest into special attack for both of these guys. Um, I think Politoed wants to just be defensive and set up hypnosis for free switch ins. Um, then you want like max. Okay, so I guess the next question is Gyarados. How fast are you with plus one speed on level 50? How much speed EVs do I need to invest into Electro to outspeed this plus one Gyarados? It's gonna reach like 150 speed. And then we have the Voltorb. Brave Nature. Uh, Electrode, actually. Level 50. Brave Nature. Uh, zero speed IV. What's up, Charming Vulpix? We're just theory crafting a team for Claire right now. So to outspeed a plus one Gyarados electrode, my electrode needs... ...120. I'm Sky, aka the Charming Vulpix. What's up, man? Glad to meet you. So, Electrode wants 120. I guess I could just max it. Or just give it HP. Hmm. Electrode. Really? Max attack for that explosion damage, huh? I actually like that idea. That's not terrible. Oh, Electro- wait. Electrode's base speed got buffed in Gen 7, right? For some reason. It's 140 in this game. So I want more than 120 speed EVs. I want 150? 155? More. I want like 170. 80. Holy shit. I'll just go a flat 200 then. Wow, 10 base speed is a huge difference. Jesus. So 200 speed for Electrode. And then just special attack and a little bit of, I guess, attack? For explosion or something? I don't know, man. We'll see. Yeah, but I like Voltorb on this team. Um... Okay, so that's how we beat, so you beat the two Dragonairs, hopefully, you beat the Kingdra, you beat the Gyarados. Now the only things left are Salamence and Altaria. How do we beat those? Altaria dies to Blissey, and Blissey's just such a good switch in. And then how do we kill Salamence? Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it, Charming Vulpix. How do we beat the Salamence? Salamence is 100 base speed, man. This is gonna be rough. I think I'll equip Wide Lens for Politoed, man, to hit more Hypnosis. Because that's like the only useful thing it's gonna do. Um. Oh, we could do like encore strats. I have like an idea. <laughs> um. You know what would we be, Mimi, if we had like Ferretris? But the question is, why would we want that? You know.
Imagine if we could mega evolve. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Like the reason for Retris is good is because of like, because of like spikes and rapid spin. We need neither of those. I just like it because of steel typing. It's a good switch in. What's up, food god? Um, so what? Do, how do we deal with salamence? I guess. Maybe like wall rain or something. I don't fucking know, man. The salamence is actually it has focus blast is the problem, so we can't even really deal with it with Blissey. Also has Draco Meteor White Herb. This thing hits like a fucking truck, man. What am I gonna do? I guess Blissey could maybe take it. Hold on. What does the Salamence do with a Focus Blast to our Blissey? Level 50, 252 HP, 252 Defense, 23 HP, and three Special Defense IVs. Dude, Focus Blast is like nothing, what the fuck? Okay. So this is easy, right? So Blissey just beats Altaria and Salamence. Uh, Ludicolo beats Kingdra. Uh, Electra beats Gyarados. And Dugong beats the two Dragonairs. And then we have, like, Politoed as a pivot. I really want Encore for Politoed. Fuck. Wait, really? I thought it got Encore. Okay, we get Hypnosis. That's like the only important thing. It has more defense and speed in this game too, which is good. Oh man. So wait, who's my sixth Pokemon? Who's my last Pokemon then? Um, I think this is not gonna be a hard battle, even without Kingdra. I guess, dude, I can <laughs> I kind of just want to like use like choice specs uh, Luminion. I mean, it's buffed in this game. Gets Psybeam and Ominous when it has better special attack. 89 base special attack is like okay. I kind of just want to do it, man. How funny would that be? I mean, this thing outspeeds everything. And give it choice specs and it kind of deals damage, you know? This is like the poor man's Kingdra. <laughs> or we just use Lantern? I don't know for what though. Like, I don't think Lantern is that good here. I kind of want to save him. Hmm. Maybe just Spiritomb for Hypnosis support? What do you guys think? Or like Weezing maybe? For, for the switch-ins? I feel like Weezing combos pretty well with Blissey. Egg, okay. Who's going to know Rain Dance? Real time, you missed the whole meme! Politoed has Drizzle, which means infinite rain, dude! Should we just use Weezing, man? Why though, right? Okay, what's the worst that could happen? Gyarados sets up a sweep. Oh, so we just get out Weezing? What's up, Jokario? Oh, so is our Gyarados counter Weezing, maybe? And then if Weezing dies, we just switch to... We just switch to... Electrode, and then we just teach Weezing Thunder. 
This is such a meme team. This is the memeiest team ever, dude. None of these Pokemon except for Blissey are like good. But like they all like they're like the that's it's it's like the perfect Claire counter, man. Spiritomb? For what though? What's like the point of Spiritomb in this team? I get hypnosis support from Politoed. I think I'll just go for like a wheezing with Thunder, man. As an additional gear dose counter, because that's like the only thing that worries me right now. Because theoretically, Blissey walls everything on this team that has special attack. And the only physical attacker really is, is Gyarados. And I guess the second Dragonair, which honestly I think I can wall with Dugong really easily. Yo Ewok, turns out Kingdra is Sniper, so... Oh, also Jokario is, uh, Jokario is also my team building expert. Guys, let me just post Claire's team here real quick. I think this is good. So the plan is to set up Drizzle with Politoed, and then Hydration Dugong takes out the Dragonairs. Um, Weezing and Electrode take out the Gyarados. Um, Blissey takes out Salamence and Altaria, and Ludicolo can take out, or Blissey or Ludicolo can both take out Kingdra. I think... I think Weezing Blissey is actually a pretty dope combo, to be honest. Pretty dope combo. No Zangus memes? For what though? How do I even switch him in safely, you know? I think this is really good. I don't think anything can happen in the Claire fight if we just use this team. It's similar to Skarmbliss? Yeah, exactly. And this is such a good defensive core. Yeah, I'm using this team. Is the script updating right now? It is. Awesome. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I wrote down a few speed EVs that I need to get. Um, Electrode wants 200 to outspeed plus one Gyarados. Uh, Gyarados gets countered by Weezing and Electrode. Like if we- I, I switch into Weezing and then if Weezing fails, Electrode just kills him. Like I'll just teach Weezing Thunder and because of rain it's always gonna hit, you know? He would lead Zangus if I had him. I don't think that's gonna work, man. I don't think I'm even fast enough to outspeed some of these Pokemon. I just remembered that I'm never outspeeding Kingra with Ludicolo anyway, because it has Swift it probably has Swift Swim. Actually, who knows? How do I even know if it's ha if it has I guess I just geared towards it not having Swift Swim in this case, because the fast Ludicolo is good anyway. But I was thinking of giving Ludicolo 160 speed EV so he outspeeds Kingdra. Right? Like, if it has Swift Swim, I'm never outspeeding it anyway. But having a speedy Ludicolo, I think, is really good for the subseed sub strats. And then I invest the rest into HP and special attack on Ludicolo. Um, like, sub I'm thinking like Surf, Ice Beam, Substitute, Leech Seed. Here I'm just thinking Surf, Ice Beam, uh, Hypnosis, the fourth move doesn't matter at all. Um, Dugong just rest, surf, ice beam, and whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, Electro just needs thunder. That's it. Am I gonna teach Will O Wisp to Weezing? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I only have one Will O Wisp TM. I might want to save it for like Spiritomb or something, you know? 
I don't know yet. I wish I had more toxic TMs, man. Hashtag ultra raid. Oh shit, boy. Sleep talk? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad idea. I don't know what else to teach Dugong, really. It doesn't really matter. Surf Ice Beam is like, okay. And then Blissey just keeps it moveset except Flamethrower is replaced with Ice Beam. And I guess I can replace Thunderbolt with Thunder if I want to. I'll think about it. I don't need it for this fight, so I won't even think about it. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I need Will-O-Wisp for wheezing in this fight. Gyarados is the only physical attacker, and against Gyarados, I'm just gonna thunder. Thanks for the follow, uh... Japanese symbols, and congrats on that Heracross. And then, like, 200... Yeah, 200 speed EVs for Electrode. There's that raid message. There we go, Ultra Tom, 100. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, dude. We're playing the Storm Silver Punish Lock, boys. Which, um, Storm Silver is a hacked version of Soul Silver. It's much harder. There's much more Pokemon available, as you can tell by our lovely box. And then the Punish Lock is a hardcore version of the Nuzlocke Challenge, where we can't use in-game items and we can't use, uh, we can't overlevel the next gym leader. And then standard Nuzlocke rules also apply. Call me D-Pad Doc. All right, D-Pad Doc. That's a cool name. Thanks for the thanks for the host, Ultra Tom. I appreciate it, man. How are you doing, my friend? Well, I'll just go ahead and drop you a follow here. What were you playing, bro? Renzo2609, thank you for the follow. Right now we're preparing for Claire, which we've never even reached Claire before. It's amazing. We're farther than we've ever gotten. We're on attempt 14. Ultra Tom, thanks for the follow, man. Congrats on that, Mudkib. Um, so yeah, 200 speed EVs for Electro to outspeed plus one Gyarados. And then 120 speed EVs for, for Dugong, just to outspeed a lot of shit. Thanks for, this, uh, thanks for the follow. Congrats on the Smeargle. CWP. Doing a Pokemon Gold randomized Let's Play. Nice, dude. That sounds awesome. It sounds really fun. Alright, guys. I would shout out, but I'm driving. <laughs> guys, go follow Ultra Tom 100. Seems like a cool dude. Alright. And then, like, max HP on Dugong and him. I guess we don't really have... Fuck. Did you just refollow Oblivionator? I guess congrats on the Mudkip, then. Learning Pokemon streams around Twitch as per usual. Nice. Um... Yeah, we don't have that much time to give Dugong a lot of EVs. So I guess I'm just going for max HP for him for now, because I think that's the most important. Actually, I need a little bit of speed to be able to outspeed Dragonairs. How much do I need to be able to outspeed Dragonair? They're the same base speed, but uh, they have standard 31 IVs and uh, Dugong has 23 speed IVs. So how much do I need? 100? That's way, way, way too much. 40? 40 seems correct. Yeah, we'll get 40 speed EVs for Dugong and then just go HP for the rest. <sighs> I was hoping for something better. Fuck my- I'm sorry, man. Alright. Let's go level up our Pokemon here. This is gonna take a while. This is gonna be a big fucking grinding stream. And then we'll take on Claire. Our current level cap is 50, so we'll get everyone there. Uh, and EV train in the process. I guess if you're not familiar with EV training, EV training is the process of killing certain Pokemon to increase certain stats on your Pokemon. So for example, you're going to see me killing um, Poliwags, which gives speed EVs, which increase the speed of a certain Pokemon. Of the Pokemon that killed them, to be exact. Um... I guess I'll start with experience sharing with Lotad here, since he's the lowest level. I don't know why he was level 20 when we encountered him, but so be it. Um, and then just starting out... I think Voltorb can take them out. 
Only charge beam now. I really want to buy a Thunderbolt TM for him. This is fucking such an awful nature, dude. God damn it. Um, let's see him. You want HP, so you want HP and like defense, I guess. Like a mix of defense and special defense, I would assume. You want a little bit of speed and then we want HP for you. And you want speed and HP. And you want speed and special attack and you want HP and defense. Okay. How many ice beam TMs do I need? I have one and then I need two. So that's three. Wait. Does Dugong learn it naturally? I don't see Ice Beam anywhere. Why the fuck don't you learn Ice Beam naturally, you fucking- Oh, there it is. 47. Never mind. Okay. So we need one Ice Beam TM. Because we have one and then we need one for the other of these two. Voltorb Flip? No, we found a better way. We found a much better way. We just farm money. And I actually have money for one. So I don't actually need to do anything. Tweet the stream out. Thanks, Ultra Tom. I appreciate it, man. Um... And then we need two Thunder TMs. Yeah, I'll keep Thunderbolt on Blessy for now. We need two Thunder TMs. Um, and one Ice Beam TM. And we have enough money for one Ice Beam TM right now. Um, so we're good. Um, I kind of need a Grass type move. Wait. So cut is a grass type move in this game. I just need, cause all, all of our EV training is done via water type Pokemon, cause that's the way it's set up in this game. You have like specific pawns where you can train specific stats. Whoops. Does not learn cut. I just want like a grass type move or an electric type move on Polytoe, but I don't think it gets like any. That kind of sucks. Pretty sure Politoed gets or, or does low tab learn cut. I guess it'll get like different grass type move, it's whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um I'm just trying to figure out what to start with here. I guess since Blissey is maxed on EVs anyway, we'll start with her. And just Thunderbolt a couple of um polywags here until Lotad is strong enough to defeat them on his own. All right, Ultra Tom, have a good one, man. Hidden power, fuck off. <laughs> uh, let's just resurrect our dead Crobat here. These are all of our dead Pokemon, by the way. These are all the Pokemon that have died so far. It's quite a lot. Um, let's resurrect our dead Crobat here for a second. Hold on, I need to figure out how I'm gonna go about this grind. Um... When does Lombra get a good grass type move? Like never? Kinda looks like never. Do we just want to evolve it into Ludicolo? Oh, it gets elemental punches, which is good for grinding. Where's Ludicolo on this thing? Oh. Oh, it gets Razor Leaf 22 in this game, actually. That's perfect for the grind. And then after... Um, do I need a Water Stone or a, f or a Leaf Stone? Water Stone, okay. I never want Hydro Pump. Um, so we'll get this thing to 22, evolve it into Lombra and evolve it into Ludicolo, and then I think it sh nah, it needs a little bit more. And then when we reach like level 30, it can it can fight. Um, hold on. Explosion for it. It like never gets a good electric type move ever. We just need we're just stuck with Charge Beam. Or we get like Thunderbolt, but I'm not getting a Thunderbolt TM just for grinding. That's retarded. Nothing good here, right? 
Needs a weef or a le leaf or water stone, I think is what you were trying to say. Um, I think, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no good electric type moves. So I guess we're stuck with charge beam for now. It's okay. Um, so we'll experience here with you, and then when you are leveled up, when you're basically level 50, we're gonna switch you up front, and then experience here with you until you're ready to want to kill Polywags. I guess we can always equip choice specs. Um, and then when you're ready, I guess we'll experience here with you. I can't really teach Dugong anything to take out Polywags, but I think Surf is just gonna be enough, to be honest. All right. Um, and then how are you gonna be ta- actually, yeah, we're gonna- yeah, okay. So this is the order that we're gonna be EV training in, I guess. We're jokes because it was war- ah, I gotcha. Okay. When do you get sludge- do you already have sludge bomb? 48. <sighs> okay. Alright, boys. I guess it's time. This is gonna be hard to figure out how to actually efficiently EV train this shit, and all the time that I need to figure that out, I could just be spending grinding. Anyway, what we do here is speed up the emulator for the grinding, because otherwise this will take forever. And then we're gonna listen to some music. Um... Let's see. Hear that lava sound design? It's pretty great. Shit! I didn't fight that guy. Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. We're not gonna overlevel. Fuck, I thought we we skipped that guy. I thought we fought that guy. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Do we keep spamming? You keep spamming until I talk to Claire. Go, 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 go. This is just... some additional memes. It's all planned, dude. I will not overlevel. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm fine. Altaria. Do I outspeed? I'm gonna assume I outspeed. <laughs> if that Altaria would have killed me, how fucking bad would that have been? Battle animations are on. As you can see. There you go. Blue Sceptile is doing it correctly. Okay, no more trainers here. That's right, guys. I'm just gonna use an Aether here. There we go, I got the puzzle, guys. Okay, boys. <laughs> you have hypnosis, right? Yeah. You have your... I need to check my moveset. Actually, let's do a quick introduction. So, we're gonna fight Claire. We have Princess and the Frog, the Politoed. For the Drizzle, this is a rain dance team. We got Surf, Ice Beam, Hypnosis, Swagger. We got Electrode and Weezing, the designated Gyarados counters. Both have Thunder, which always hits in rain. Uh, he's holding a Choice Scarf, so he can outspeed plus two speed Gyarados. Gyarados does have Dragon Dance. And then Weezing has a Choice Spec, so he can always want to KO the uh, Gyarados. Don't get global, guys. Um, Dugong is going to be the designated Dragonair counter. He has Rest and Hydration, which is just insane. Um, Ludicolo has the Mimius set ever. We have Substitute, Leech Seed, Protect, Leftovers, and Rain Dish. This thing is not going to die. And then if anything ever goes wrong, we just have Blissey with Ice Beam. Let's fucking go. If I lose here, I have to perform a freestyle. I 
I'm gonna put this dragon here to sleep. Um, with Politoed here. Actually, I need to know the move set. It does not have thunder. So let's put it to sleep. We're faster, actually, and we hit the hypnosis. Perfect. Now we can just switch to Dugong and kill it. Tankiest team north of the equator, that's right. Stayed for you, that's awesome, Frozen. Alright, uh, go into Dugong here and go for the KO. Easy peasy. Alright, he's gonna Thunder Wave. Um, I'm fine with that. Because, watch this. Let's go. Easy as that, dude. Do you think the AI even realized? Do you think he'd keep spamming Thunder Wave now? <sighs> All right, here's the Gyarados. This was our number one worry. I'm gonna assume the Dragon Dance here, but Weezing should be fine. We can just go to Weezing, take a hit after he Dragon Dances, and then Thunder. Okay. We're still good, guys. We're still good. We can still do this. Weezing just needs to take one hit. He's gonna go for the Waterfall. That is Rain Boosted. That is Rain Boosted and plus one attack, but Weezing is max defense, max HP. Nice, dude. What? He got the fucking flinch! No way! Okay, backup strats. Backup strats, guys. And backup strats means we sack Weezing and kill it with... Kill it with Electrode. It's the only way. Rip Weezing. He's gonna die for us. The rain boost is what killed us there, and the flinch. Okay, Electro is definitely gonna outspeed and kill with Thunder here. Max special attack here. Easy peasy. Right? Right. <sighs> this is why we brought Electrode, guys. We needed a backup strat in case Weezing failed. And from here on out, it should be smooth sailing. Dragonair. Um, this Dragonair has Outrage, Aqua Tail, Dragon Pulse, and Extreme Speed. I'm going to switch to Dugong. I could, sw I could actually switch to Politoed and go for the Hypnosis. I know that Dugong can outspeed, though. If Hypnosis misses, that's kind of stupid. I'm gonna go into Politoed here to get the safe switch into. I mean, I'm, I know that I'm faster with. Um... Yeah, so I can just rest if he does too much damage. Yeah. I'm gonna go into. into Dugong here. I like that more. Okay, Outrage is his most powerful move. We have max HP on this Dugong. We should be able to take this. That's fine. We'll just rest until it's out of outrages, right? Until it confuses itself. We also have those leftovers. We just can't get crit. Thank you for the follow, Rainbow Pegasus. And hydration is gonna cure the sleep. We just need to take a few outrages until it confuses itself and then we'll go for the ice beam. I wonder if we could just go for the ice beam and kill it. I think it's close. Maybe that's actually better. Maybe that's actually better. But if I go for it confusing itself, um, I think I need to play around the crit. Oh, it already confused itself. That's perfect. So I just go for the, I just go for the rest here, right? Until it hits itself, and then I ice beam. 
Yeah, Hydration Dugong seems a little bit extremely strong right now. By the way, Rain holds forever with Drizzle. Politoed at Drizzle. It's gonna outrage again. Don't crit me. The crit is extremely unlikely here with it being confused. I think I should go for the Ice Beam. No, I'm gonna go for the rest here. I want it to hit itself. I need it to hit itself. Because, um... I want it to hit itself. Because then I can go into the next fight with full HP on Dugong. That's actually really important. Let's go. I know I risk getting crit here. Okay, it snapped out of confusion. Now I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. Because now the risk of getting crit is pretty fucking high. Him not hitting himself and snapping out after turn one is pretty meme -y. At least I didn't get crit. If I get crit here, I'm in big trouble. Yeah, I should just go for the Ice Beam then. I should stop being greedy. I have counters for everything else set up. Okay, he confused himself again after one Outrage turn. That's actually perfect. In that case, I'm gonna go for a Rest again. I'm gonna be greedy here. Like, the chance for crit behind the confusion is so low that I can easily do this to go into the next fight with full HP. Start hitting yourself, exactly. Just do it, man. Thank you. Okay, and now we go for the Ice Beam. An easy, easy, easy kill. I could have went for the Ice Beam immediately and probably killed, but I like going into the next fight with, um, with full HP here. There we go. Keep hitting yourself. Yeah. Sick, dude. Alright, there's Salamence. This is a special attacking Salamence. Um, it's gonna focus blast here. And this is gonna seem weird, but I'm gonna switch into Blissey. Because I know that Blissey can easily take a focus blast. Blissey is so specially defensive, it can take anything. It's actually gonna Draco Meteor, which is also fine. I can take that. He has a white herb, if I remember correctly. Yeah, look at that damage. That's nothing. That's just nothing. What's he gonna do? Honestly, what's he gonna do? Even if he crits with Focus Blast, I'm still fine. And Leftovers is just gonna heal so much. This is his most powerful move, and we're left with so much HP. I'm just gonna go straight for the Ice Beam here. Even crit is completely fine here. And I think I could kill with Ice Beam. Dude, Blissey is insane. I think she's gonna go for the heal here, so I'm just gonna go for, for another Ice Beam. I could go for the... Um, the Soft Boiled. I don't think I need to play around crits here or anything, and White Herb doesn't work anymore, so this thing is like weakened as fuck. Yeah, she's just gonna heal. Low roll. Another Ice Beam. He's gonna hit me again, but that's completely fine. Like, he's minus two special attack right now from that Draco Meteor. I'm golden. Fire Blast, okay, sure, dude. <laughs> Even if he gets the burn, I'm fine, because I have natural gear. Look at that damage, dude. This Salamence can't do shit against Blissey. I'm gonna update the script real quick, hold on. It should work then, I should've done that before. All right, Kingdra. I have a plan for Kingdra. I could do this with Blissey, but Blissey's my backup. I like Ludicolo here, and we have a really sick strategy set up for Ludicolo. Watch this shit. He's actually gonna swagger me, which is actually the one way he can maybe get me. Um, that swagger is actually kind of intense right now. Um, I know that they can't deal that much damage to me, and so I'm not gonna hurt myself that much. Um, 
I'm just gonna try to go for the leech seed here. Sick, we hit it. That's really good. That means we basically win. This is not gonna deal a lot of damage. This little call is max HP. Yeah, there we go. And thanks to Rain Dish, Leftovers, and Leech Seed, I think we're gonna heal full here. And we're actually faster, I just realized that, which means that this Kingdor does not have Swift Swim, but Sniper. Now I could go full memes, and uh, sub protect, substitute, protect, substitute. Um, and I think I should do that. <laughs> I could get an Ice Beam in somewhere, I'm definitely gonna protect here. Don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself, fuck. That's fine. Ah, uh, crit will kill me because of Sniper. That actually kind of sucks. Okay, we're fine. We can take another hit ourselves plus um, Dragon Rage, I think. Because we heal so much right now, look at this. Just look at this healing, dude. This is ridiculous, man. I'm healing like 25% of my health per turn. Yeah, I mean, I'm dead to crit anyway, I might as well protect. Alright, perfect, we snap out. And now we can't do anything, it's fucked. It can never ever win. It just can't win. There's no way it can win. Because I can just substitute and I'm faster. And I'm gonna heal my substitute damage. Uh, with Leech Seed plus Leftovers plus uh, Rain Dish. Like, even without Leech Seed, I'd be able to heal it off because I can protect every second turn. You could just swap into Blissey? Yeah, I could have done that. Nothing this king king do. How mad is Claire right now? How mad do you think Claire is right now? Wait, did he swagger? Oh, nice. I can go for an ice beam then. It's sick. If we can keep the sub up, I can just stay in, man. How mad a lot. <laughs> it's a gross strategy. You should be ashamed of yourself. I think it's fun, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it failed the swagger. She has one more healing item, I think. Go for protect here. Actually, I could have gone sub. Doesn't matter. Ludicolo for Elite Four? Probably. It's There's not a lot that beats this. There's really not a lot that beats this strategy. It needs a lot of damage, and the AI needs to play well to play around this, and I don't think it does. The AI will like use like status moves on like substitutes that are up. It's ridiculous. Shitty idea for a raid message, your memes suck, fight me. What? <laughs> I don't know about that. This is such a huge meme. <laughs> Suckmaster OWO with the follow. Can can chat give this guy a OWO? We should have turned battle animations off just for this. <laughs> Matter than a hornet. Do you think ice I think ice beam plus leech seed damage kills it here? So I should go for it, because otherwise he goes for the uh, he goes for the heal after that and I kinda don't want that. Let's go for Ice Beam. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice swagger miss, bro. Almost got me. Goodbye, Kingdom. You're supposed to be the main Pokemon, dude. Come on, get your shit together. Get fucked. One more Pokemon, it's Altaria. Uh, I'm just gonna switch to Blissey here and kill it. Fire Blast, Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse, Roost. We don't give a fuck. <sighs> we don't give a fuck. That's the most damage it's gonna do here. Um, so we can just Ice Beam. We don't die to crit or anything. 
Is that all you have, Claire? Is that all you fucking have? You're the last gym leader of Johto, dude. You're a fucking dragon type gym leader. And this is what you bring to me? A fucking one death fight on my first attempt on you? Come the fuck on, dude. Come the fuck on. Wow, you even survive with one HP like the little cuck you are. That's okay, Claire. I'll take you out like the trash you are. Come on. You're kidding, right? I'm supposed to win. I already decided. Alright, buddy. Sure, go ahead and use your full restore, man. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Maybe we'll even roll high and take out Altaria. Who knows, man? Rip wheezing. I was kind of supposed to die, almost. Like, her Gyarados was the only thing that was dangerous, and that was the way to take it out. Like, we have the safety net with Electrode. Is that it? Is that eight gym badges? Is that eight gym badges I see? The flinch was lucky, yeah. The flinch killed Weezing. That's eight gym badges, guys. We're officially in the late game. Sacrificial peace, exactly. We don't get the badge just yet, but that's okay. <sighs> don't you fucking die on Victory Road. I'll do my best, man. Guys, <clears throat> this was a really fun stream. We did like four hours of grinding, but I still had so much fun with you guys. Thank you so much. Um, 